Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to share what I made today. I've been playing with metal, and this is actually pewter. This is um, real pewter, 100% pure metal. This is how it came, and I think it's about like, oh, it's nine and a quarter by 12 inches. It's not a ton, and this is all I have left. There, that's the end of the roll. Uh, 36 um, gauge and I got this from Amazon but I think it was from 10 second studio this because this is where I got my um, the tools I mean I ordered everything from Amazon but I think it came from 10 second studios um, so this was the beginner tool set and it comes with five pieces. Um, I also bought a set of stumps, paper stumps, because you use those. The metal came with this uh, wooden tool. And that, I'm pretty sure, is what the book, I also got a book. And this was um, a second-hand book. It says Washoe County Library. Um, it's copyrighted 02, I think. Let me double check. Uh, it's the first edition. And I why can't I see the year right now as I'm looking? 203. 2003. Um, eh, not crazy about the book. I guess, I mean, I think it gives pretty good information. He uses this this tool the whole time, so um, I think I mean there's there's some good information in here. Definitely, there's a few patterns and things like that. I've been kind of playing on my own, not really, just from things that I've seen online. <coughs> the only oh, Ten Second Studio has a YouTube channel. Um, and they've shared a couple of projects with metal embossing. Here she is, Cheryl Darren. She's the one who shows you the videos. Um, so I'm total beginner, but I want to show you what I made. Um, a couple of the tools that you need to do it with, I had this, I actually painted on it, but uh, it's masonite board. You need a hard, smooth surface. Um, this is just a couple of pieces of paper stapled together, about five pieces of paper. And I have a soft piece of foam. So, um, and then the tools. This Teflon tool is what I, I have paint under my nails again, I'm so sorry. Um, but this Teflon tool was what I was interested in, and um, that's why I ordered the, the starter kit of tools. Um, I've really only used, I did use the cup and ball tool, this one, and I used this one. I haven't used these two. This is just like a roller. It makes um, an impression. I haven't, I'll get, I'll use that. And then this is like a brass brush. And I think this works better on aluminum. The, um, they sell aluminum, aluminum that's like color coded on one side and you can kind of scr scratch it, make scratches in it and stuff. I don't know. Um, haven't used them. Um, this one's cool. This one uh, just makes a, uh, like a, it looks like a machine would make it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I can't think. Anyway, so this is, and then I do have a piece of thicker foam, but I didn't use that because that's for when you really want to make a, a recessed, um, like a heart, really puffy heart. You can use the thicker foam. Um, I have been taking notes based on, Alicia Hart. She's um, a metal artist from South Africa. Uh, I think she lives in California now. And I wish she did vid more videos. But she has, I'll put the, um, the link for her video that I watched in the description box. And um, it's really been the best walk-through type direction that I've seen. Um, there's really not a lot about it on YouTube. So, um, <coughs> let me show you what I did. So, Alicia, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
she takes you through a couple of the techniques and this is what I made like because all this um, pewter that you're gonna see that that's all I have left is like one eight by ten piece of paper piece of I don't know that's it left but so this was a scrap I was making ATC sizes but she shows you how to use the tools so this is this one you just roll it along the edge and the the regular um, like stylus you just can do scratching with and the Teflon tool you do the recessed deep lines so I'm still learning but I just did this along with her on the video I made a few um, dots and uh, then of course I move on to a project so <laughs> the first project I did was this one <clears throat> it's an ATC and <clears throat> I had seen this Sun on um, another piece that I think she taught in a class it was their journal covers and that's what I'm working my way up to of course I always want to go to the big thing right away right um, but for now I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna use probably this whole piece of um, pewter and just use it for ATC's right now because um, you can do light switch covers you can cover boxes and wood and frames and her actually her website Alicia's website she has starter kits too, like a kit with a pattern and everything but I just made this pattern myself it says play create um, and then I put a hole in it because I, I dug a hole in the pewter here because it is a very soft metal I mean I could bend this um, right now um, so this was my first try you can color the metal with your either sharpies anything acrylic markers and um, or your um, Copics or whatever so I colored it and uh, colored the little leaves I also patinaed all of them I'm pretty sure I did all of them now um, with just um, a Posca paint pen you can use black just like we do for polymer clay you can patina the metal there's also an agent like a patina agent that's a chemical and I don't have that yet but I just wanted to practice with this first uh, but I think I if I continue to do it I would get that but it's it's caustic you have to wear gloves and um, you know but it patinas the pewter beautifully um, but then after you patina it because that was my first one here's my second one of course I had to try as entangle um, and this just has black paint on it like I said but if you take a piece of um, just like this is an old dish towel that I use for whatever and you really give it a rub it really brings out the shine like the the luster of the metal and Alicia really recommends pewter if you're gonna get into this it's just a lot I mean tin there's all the um, I did I used to do the tin foil um, but look how like beautiful it gets like that luster just comes out I love it so I'm gonna do if I do a journal cover I'm gonna do it with pewter um, I was talking about the tape the metal tape I've done um, projects with the metal tape and I know Tim Holtz has some metal um, you can run this through an embossing machine too or even use stencils she has another video where she has um, she uses one of Lori Micah's um, stencils it's a like a trim stencil um, so I have still have a lot to learn and um, I, I got better each time I started to figure it out uh, but you can really see the luster on that can't you when you buff it and then you seal it you would seal it with a clear lacquer spray um, so that it wouldn't continue to uh, tarnish because pewter would will change so and this one doesn't have any color on it I didn't I chose not to color this one um, all right, then I did this one, and this one I, I like. This one I changed. It's basically the same as this, but I just changed it a little bit. Like I made this spot bigger so I could fit a like decent heart in there because that was just such a little scrawny heart, and it didn't come out as nice. So, I mean, I'm getting better. As you can see, it's already puffier looking and nicer looking. Um, and I decided to do a little flower in that one instead of the sun because I was trying to just copy. I didn't know how she did it, so I, I just couldn't get it to work the way she did it or whoever did it. 
Um, but the ball, this, this technique is so easy with this little cup and ball tool. And this comes in a lot of different sizes. So this side is the refiner. So you just make a little a dent in the, and then you turn it over and you refine it with that. So it's, their tools are pretty easy. But again, I'm gonna just take this, it's been sitting a while, so I'm gonna take and get, just give it a buff and just watch, see if this, oh, and I colored it with um, my Sharpies. I have, the Sharpies are just sitting right on my desk and I just grabbed just a couple. I didn't want to color everything. And I patinaed this with the black paint again. And it just gets in the nooks and crannies and kind of brings out, like, because this is embossed or debossed. This is debossed. It's embossed when it comes up. So that's debossed, the create. Um, but yeah, it's super. This line here is, um, from this roller tool, I pushed it on the soft cloth and then it comes up into a raised line like that. But yeah, the luster is really cool on it when you, um, yeah, I wanted to see if I could get some of that paint out of there. There's, um, you know, I mean, I'm still learning, so I think I'm putting lines where I don't want them necessarily but you have to keep flattening the background. And it is, it's, it's a, there's a learning curve. Definitely um, trying to, all right, stop. Anywho, so yeah, this one I really liked. This is kind of what I'm gonna try and do like a journal cover um, eventually. I like this style. And this is something that I saw her, I think she teaches this, this style of a journal cover where you just kind of make blocks and then each little block can be a little different piece of, you know, art in it. So I really like that was kind of um, fun to just, hmm, what do I want to put in here? What do I, you know? And then this one is pretty cool. Um, this is one of the, what brand is it? It comes with, this butterfly comes with a die set. I want to say Stampendous, but I don't think it is Stampendous. Anyway, I stamped the butterfly onto tracing paper and then held the paper over the metal and then just went around the main design that I wanted on there. And then I embossed it from the back because you have to push um, to, to make things pop out, you have to push from the back. But I'm gonna give that a rub. But then I colored it with the, um, yeah, it really comes up. I actually um, put the color on before I patinaed. I forgot to patina it first. And so I'm kind of rubbing off some of the, I think the orange and the yellow and the green, but it kind of looks cool. Cause this was like teal. But that, that um, when you buff it up, it looks so pretty. Yeah, so that one was cool. And this is, I did use the, the roller tool, this one, on the edges, but then I ended up making lines too. Just like, just to fill in the background. So that was that, and then this was the last one I did because I wanted to get like a puffed, um, I was practicing the puff, and I think I got it now to where I know how to just do it without making necessarily, this is like a double puff, that's puffed and that's puffed. So I, I, I enjoyed it. It was fun experimenting and playing and trying new things. But yeah, I think I have to invest in a bottle of patina. And I don't think it, um, I think it lasts a long time. But I also think I'm probably going to end up getting more pewter because um, I have two more ATCs and it cuts so easily. Like I just used a... Um, Actually, I use my Tim Holtz ruler because this has a metal edge to it, but I've been using this ruler. Just a metal ruler and an X-Acto, not an X-Acto, one of these. Utility knife. This is from the dollar store. The cheapest. What is this? Why is that there? <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't even know it did that. Anyway, um, so yeah, and it cuts so easy. I just cut it right on my cutting mat. And so maybe tomorrow I'll do a little demo 
Um, you also there's a back and a front to pewter because the front will take the patina much better. So you just mark the back of the pewter when it comes off the roll. You just put a you just mark it so that you know where your back and where your front is. Um, but yeah, so that is what I was up to today. It was so nice out. Oh my god, I think it was like 70 degrees in New Jersey today. So um, between enjoying that. Uh, I had fun with Peter, but can you see the luster on that? It is super cool. Not really in the shot, huh? I kind of like it with no color on it. But, I mean, you know, you ha I had to try the color because... It's cute with the color, too. I would actually really like to try mixed metals. Like, I, I've been seeing some stuff, like maybe one of these whole blocks is in brass. Like, maybe a couple of different things are in brass. And I don't know if you can, um, I don't know how they do that. See, that's a thing. Uh, if you actually cut a piece out and put brass behind it, maybe that's how they do it. Um, but anyway, like, this could be... I could just cut around it and make it an embellishment. You know, I mean, I could have done that one here. I think I'm going to break, I'll brighten this up. Let's brighten it up just before I go. These Sharpies are, are nice and bright. Look how bright that got. And then I used orange. Yeah, orange on this part. That's very bright, right? So I can see how if you had a journal cover, like a bigger piece, just having a little hit of color here and there. I think I put yellow on the other parts too. Oh, teal, I use teal for his body or her body. That looks cute, right? It's pretty cool. Anywho, you know me. I got to try new things. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.